Tonight I'm going to run this inverter of the Kodiak into my heating system that I used to heat the van and I always run at a setting of one which is low and tonight to show what happens to this inverter when it reaches the voltage where I AGM battery would AGM battery would be basically impossible to use because the inverter would be screaming at you basically screaming at you telling you you're damaging the battery you're damaging the battery don't use it 120 and the noise makes it the noise really makes it impossible to use it 120 so um, you'll see at what point an AGM battery is basically so we're about to torture my electrical system and we're going to see what happens when this goes under voltage and and uh, we're going to torture it so the first thing the Kodiak is pretty much at full power the blue light is on, it's supposed to be 100%. But it's really above 90 but below 100 because it's only 12.16. But it's as, it's as good as any place to start. So what I'm going to do, it's, it's showing that we're using a little current, not much of a current. So first I'm going to turn on this inverter, all right, and you see the green light, and it's saying that we're 1.4 amps. Now the whole idea is to torture the electrical system. I have to learn the limitation of the electrical system, and I want to show you guys what happens. So, this is a heater that I have, a particular type of heater, which I'll cover another day. And I told it, give me one unit of heat, give me two units of heat, give me three units of heat. Now, I am 100% comfortable with one unit of heat. I surely do not need three units of heat. But in order to torture the, the electrical system, I have to push it hard. And so now, and I don't know what it's going to get to, but now it's reading 11 point, eleven point two. All practical purposes, 11.2, 11.5 now. So it's finding its 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 amp, and the wattage to run it, the wattage is at 129. I sure miss my other camera. I can't wait to find it somewhere in the van. It's at 120. It's 128. God bless the the focus of this new camera okay so it's 126 watts and it's a 10.5.10.55 but I really don't think they'll run exactly I think an incident will happen at night that I'll have to document so I am now turning off 
I'm not turning off the Kodiak inverter and I'm just using this inverter I'm just you know I come out of here come across come in and I go and I'm using only this inverter and I explained it I have this inverter to to save me the power to save the power of using the big inverter of the Kodiak I mean that's smart use of power it's less energy to run it so you might as well use it so this inverter is going to be running now and uh, it's less than 300 watts it's it's rated for it's rated for 300 watts and like I said before we'll take a quick look I'm at 120 watts so no way no way can this device not handle 120 watts so we had 130 watts continuous but I'm gonna go to sleep and we'll see what happens tonight and there's something wrong I'm gonna turn it off so I turned it off and uh, I'm not gonna plug it back into the AC cord of the Kodiak solar generator. Let me turn on the heater. to start and I'm going to put three load back on although the I generator had to, took me just a little while to to start it up and uh, we're at 11.6 volts 120 watts and we joined 10.7 10.7 one amps if we look at the, at the chart that I always have it was still running okay it is saying it's at it's 11 point Saying it's 11.05, 11.05 volts. Nope, never will do it. Yeah. 11.04 amps. Okay, so if we look at that and we look at this, 11. Point oh, 11.04 amps. So So it is saying that on the 11.6, 11 10.4, so it is saying that, 
it's it's really at zero power for the AGM battery. Ten percent, no. Anyway, I can't get the light to work on it. So it's saying that it's at zero power is at uh, 10.51. It's 11.